Hello everyone. Today, I would like to show you that how to create hook block revit family. And I will refer those dimensions in the picture to create the parameter. Before go to revit, I would like to request to subscribe the channel and click the notification bell for the next video. Ok, let go to revit. Open the new family. Select the generic model and open it. Go to Family Category and Parameter. Select Mechanical Equipment for Family Category and select Normal for Part Type. Go to Front View. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 140mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 99mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 40mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 297 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Go to reference level. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 30 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and lock it. Go to front view. Go to create. Select the swept blend. Sketch path. Draw start end radius arc and lock to the reference plane. Edit profile 1 in reference level. Draw an ellipse. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Edit Profile 2 in Reference Level. Draw another ellipse. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Finish the swept blend. Check in 3D view. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to material. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 30 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 160 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 64 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Go to create. Select the swept blend. Sketch path. Draw center and arc and lock to reference plane. Edit profile 1 in reference level. Create similar. Edit profile 2 in reference level. Draw a circle. Finish the swept blend. Check in 3D view. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to material. Go to front view. Go to create. Select the void revolve. Draw boundary line and lock to reference plane.
set the axis line and finish the revolve. Select the existing reference plane. Create similar from intersection point to 45 degrees. Insert angle dimension and lock it. Go to create. Select the swept blend. Draw center and arc and lock to reference plane. Edit profile 1 in reference level. Create a similar. Edit profile 2 in reference level. Draw an ellipse. Select the ellipse and move to reference plane. Finish the swept blend. Check in 3D view. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to material. Go to front view. Go to create. Select the swept blend. Sketch path. Edit profile 1 in 3D view. Create a similar line. Edit profile 2 in 3D view. Draw a circle. Go to reference level. Select the circle and check circle mark visible. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Go to 3D view. Finish the swept blend. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to material. Go to front view. Go to create. Select the sweep. Sketch path. Draw the line and lock to the reference plane. Select the fillet arc. Set radius 35 mm and fillet the corner and lock it. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Edit profile in reference level. Draw a circle. Select the circle and check circle mark visible. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Finish the sweep. Check in 3D view. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to material. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 20 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 40 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Go to create. Select the revolve. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Select the fillet arc. Set radius 2 mm and fillet the corner and lock it. Set the axis line and finish the revolve. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to material. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 100 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Go to create. Select the revolve. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Select the fillet arc. Set radius 5 mm and fillet the corner and lock it. Set the axis line and finish the revolve. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to material. Select the reference plane and mirror to opposite side. Insert dimension and make equal. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 12 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Go to left view. 
Go to Create. Select the extrusion. Draw a six sides polygon. Finish the extrusion. Go to front view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the geometry and mirror to opposite side. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to a new material. Go to front view. Go to create. Select the revolve. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Insert dimension and lock it. Select the fillet arc. Set radius 6.5 mm and fillet the corner and lock it. Select the line and mirror to opposite side. Set the axis line and finish the revolve. Check in 3D view. Go to left view. Select the existing reference plane. Create similar from intersection point to 45 degrees. Select the reference plane and mirror to opposite side. Go to create. Select the extrusion. Draw a circle. Select the circle and check circle mark visible. Insert dimension and lock it. Select the circle and mirror to opposite side. Select the circle. Select the rotate and copy. Place on intersection point and rotate to 60 degrees. Finish the extrusion. Go to front view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to material. Select the geometry and mirror to opposite side. Check in 3D view. Go to family type. Click on the cover material by category. Create a new material and rename it. And click apply. Open asset browser. Click on Appearance Library and select the paint. Replace glossy yellow color paint. Duplicate the asset and rename it. Go to Graphic and select Use Render Appearance. Click Apply and OK. Click on the Hook Material by Category. Create a new material and rename it. And click Apply. Open Asset Browser. Click on Appearance Library and select the metallic paint. Replace glossy black color paint. Duplicate the asset and rename it. Go to Graphic and select Use Render Appearance. Click Apply and OK. Save the family. OK, Hook Block Family creation is completed. If you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button. Thank you for watching.